So today we have the we have here the uh, the Texa RCCS3. It's our calibration machine. We actually today we brought with us the all-around camera system. So we have our mats here for the side view camera. We have back here for the rear camera. We have the rear Doppler for the rear radar. Uh, up front we do have the night vision and we do have the front radar plate. And it does pivot so you are able to calibrate the front radar sensors on any of the Nissans or Kias. And this is our VCI. It is DOIP capable. It is also CAN-FD capable. You are able to use it as a pass-through as well. It is J1939 J compliant as well as RP1210. Another cool feature about this is it also has Wi-Fi capability. So you can hook this to your shop's Wi-Fi and literally connect to the car from anywhere in the shop. This is our main scan tool. So currently we're the only ones on the market that can go from scanning a car all the way down to a uh, Mercruz or Marine. You could be on a Ducati, <laughs> then connecting to a Bobcat, vice versa with the Freightliner. So for today, we're gonna go into the car software. From there, we're gonna select diagnosis. We do have other abilities with this, but for today, we're gonna go through here. Uh, you have the option to go from light trucks, passenger car, supercar. So under light trucks, that'll be in your light uh, commercial vehicles, um, any of your uh, gas pickups. Uh, as far as passenger cars, we do have a pretty extensive list on what we have. But for today, we're gonna to be connecting to the Porsche Taycan, which is underneath our supercar. So we can select that, scroll down to Porsche. So if you see on the corner here where it's got the orange square, this is gonna be our auto VIN. So it will scan the vehicle, you'll see the VIN number up top, and then you'll see all the options the vehicle has above. So we'll hit that right now. All right, so this will give you a forewarning of it. This will be, this will tell you that it is a hybrid electric vehicle. It'll tell you the risk. So basically it's just a, it's a forewarning as to working on the vehicle. All right, so here you can see that the VIN has populated up here. And if you can see up here, you can see that it is the Taycan electric and a three volume saloon. From this page, we can see that we have the system scan. So what this will do is it'll scan every onboard computer on the car. Uh, you'll be able to see if a system's present, if it's not present, if it's got a code on it, if they're active or if they're memorized. So if, if you go here at the vehicle maintenance, this will be on your service resets. Uh, we do have adjustments in coding. So this is where you'll do any of the uh, calibrations. Uh, you'll have the activation test too. So that'll be for any of the lights, instrument panels, uh, brake servos, anything you need. You do have the option as well to just individually connect into any system that we have. You can get onto on the car. Pretty extensive list. Uh, so we'll go into the system scan. So when you go into the system scan, it'll show you what connector to use, where it's located, and a video of where that connector is located. So that way you no longer have to be a contortionist to find out where it's at. So we'll hit next. So right now it's going to be scanning into the system. So you do have the option to go back to a previous scan. So that way if you are repairing it, you can go back and see what has to be repaired and what you've done. But for today, we're gonna to carry out a full scan. So right now it's scanning through all the modules, so we'll be able to see if there are any codes present and where they're located. Okay, so as you can see, there anything in green, the system is present and there is no fault located in it. Anything on red is not present on this vehicle, the system's not on board. Anything in yellow will have a code on it. So there's an easy way to check for each code. You could actually hit DTC detected. It'll show you what the code is. You go from there, anything in yellow is memorized, anything in red is active. So there is a way to clear. You could actually clear with the eraser here, or you can go into each individual system. Now there is a way to do pre and post scan depending on how the shop is set up. So you could hit print, you could hit save. And you could all do this and create a customer profile as well. So if you do have the vehicle multiple times or different vehicles, you can save it and jump back to it when you want to. You also could uh, save it as a file, email it. And since this is Windows based, you could actually open up your email on this as well. So we're just trying to make it as easy as it possibly can for the modern day tech to diagnose and troubleshoot a vehicle. So there is another way to view this as well. 
So you can, so this right here is gonna show you what is on that communication line. So you can hit the safety and you can see that these two are on board the safety. So you can click that and you've got the rescue call and then you've got thermal management. You can hit the inf infotainment. So these would be on board that can line. You can see anything in red is not on it, so it does not have heads up display, but you can check what's yellow and those are gonna be the codes and you'll see the codes listed. You can hit that one. You can see that one is actually an active code. Okay, so we go back. So for today, we're gonna go into the camera on this one because we're gonna be doing the calibration. So we go into the multifunction video camera. So there's two ways to connect it. You can double tap to it, double tap on it, and it'll go in, or you can hit the button and it'll go right in. So what's cool about this is that in our software, every time you connect to this, it's gonna look the same. You're gonna see parameters, faults, ECU info, activations, and settings. So regardless of which car you go into, which module you go into, it's always gonna look the same. So you have your parameters listed here. If you want to view it through voltages, you can. If you want to view it through graphical data, you can double tap it, and you'll see that. Uh, if you're looking for more specific, you could actually filter it out, select which ones you want. You can even search for it. But this will definitely help you too, especially if you've got like an intermittent issue and you need to figure out when the sensor is active or when it's not active. You could actually hit the record button, take the VCI with you in the car, go for a run, come back. It'll import all the data. That way you'll be able to see when that sensor is active and when it's not. And you also are able to save, print, email, any of this as well. So all our faults will be listed here. You'll have your ECU info here. So you can see the hardware part number. You can see the file identification, software version it's on, hardware, even the system abbreviation for it. Activation, so this will be our, where all our uh, bi-directionals are. So you can do the headlight calibration through here, ample motor, high beams, low beams, matrix lights, even the top view camera. This is where we're gonna go for settings. This is where we're gonna do it for the uh, camera calibration. So we do, on this one, we do have the option for the 360 camera calibration, but for today, we're gonna be doing the uh, front camera. So for this one, when we go into it, you could actually hit the yellow question mark. It'll bring up, you'll see exactly how to set it up, the space requirements, how to position the frame. So this will be especially useful too when you're doing front camera, not even front camera, when you're doing radar calibrations because you can see the size you're gonna need, the space you're gonna need to do the radar calibrations, where the position needs to be at. So you could, in theory, you could actually, actually not in theory, in practice, <laughs> you could have it set up before the car even comes in. That way you can get it done quicker. We're gonna select front camera calibration, start. Okay. So this is what, it's gonna be working in tandem with our Bluetooth lasers. So it'll literally walk you step by step through the whole process of calibration. So for now, we're gonna get the center line on it. So I'm gonna go turn the center laser on. Okay. So from here, we can get the vehicle center line. Uh, for good theory, you wanna go across the front of it. So we're gonna to try to get off the front of that. Um, so the first step, the first step in this calibration is gonna be getting the distance off the front target. We can hit the on button. And you can see the laser on the target. Okay, so you can see that right now it's at the correct distance. So what's cool about this too, is you could actually come off target and it will tell you if you've got to move closer or away. If you back it up, you could actually see if you are within range or not and if you have to move closer. So we'll go back in. Okay, so now we're in the green. So we can hit the next button. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring that target to the rear because we are going to be squaring the vehicle off now. So these are pretty easy adjustment on the clamps. This will be what cinches it down. So you can open that up. 
There is a quick adjustment on it, so you can bring the lever up and adjust uh, to what rim size you need it to be. Okay. Yeah, and our clamps go off of the tire, so that way there is no risk of damaging the rim at all. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our little angle finder and we're going to try to get a 90 degree angle on it. That way we have the best contact point for the laser. Okay. So we're right there at 89.9. Okay. We take that off and then we can go to the next step of the process. Okay. So from here, we can hit the next arrow. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna square the vehicle off. So we can do that with the fine adjustments over here. So we have plus or 30, plus or minus 30 on this adjustment here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to screw it in. You can see now that they're squared off. So we wanna be within one or two from uh, each other. Ideally, we'd want to be right on the money. And at this point, we'd lock the frame down so it doesn't move on us. So we have four screws here. All right. So the next step we're gonna do is get height. So we can turn this level on. Okay. And as you can see here, we're at 18 and we need to go down to 17. We do have a motor adjustment here. So we can bring it down. <laughs> nice. All right, we're on the money. All right, so we can hit the next step. Right now we'll center it. Okay, so we'll take the laser. Okay, so we're off just a little bit. So we're gonna take the adjustment and we're gonna bring it towards this side. Okay, let's see where we're at. The lights aren't allowing for a good laser. Okay, yep, yeah, we're on the money. All right, so we can go to the next step. Uh, Jesus is going to assist us with the next step. Alright. So we can go here. So what's happening now is the screen, the target's going to pop up on the screen. So you can see the target we're going to be seeing. And then we're going to take the left distance measure and we're going to get wheel height. So what he's going to do is he's going to take the laser from the top of the wheel base, well, I guess the wheel well, and go straight down. All right, so we got 7.45, so he can move to the next one. Okay, 7.49, all right, we'll move to the next. Okay, 748. And then let's get our final one. Okay, 742. All right, so after that, we can save it into the unit. So what this is doing now is this is gonna give you your final step to check. So you can hit the question mark, run through the steps again, make sure you've got everything correct. So this will be your final check down list. And then from there, we can calibrate. So we can actually move it back away from the front of the vehicle. And then hit confirm. So right now the camera is starting to calibrate. Okay, calibration has been done correctly. We'll turn off the instrument panel to save it into the ECU. 
So it's currently riding the new angles to look at. All right, and then we can turn it on. And now we have the list of what's changed and what it's looked at. So if you are a free and post can shop, you can actually hit the printer button and uh, we can get a detailed report on it. So for this one, we're gonna just select windshield replacement, hit the check mark. We're gonna do PDF so we could view it. But this is where you'd be able to email it, print it, anything you need to do. So we'll open the folder. Okay, so you'll see everything about the shop. You see the VIN, Tycan. You can see all the adjustments we've done. Time, date stamp. And you can see the screen that we just saw. And then you do have a stamp and signature for the insurance purposes. Thank you again. My name is Chris from Texa. And uh, if you want any more information, you can reach us at texausa.com or our number at 855-200-8392. Anyone can assist you with anything you need.